My name is uh, Daniel Longa. I'm a German Congolese. I'm born in Congo, but I'm living in Germany. My opponent uh, will be Michael Dutt. We fought already once. I won the fight. And uh, yeah, he's the only thing that I know about him. He, he, he likes to make trash talks and things like that. Last fight, um, there was nothing really happened because we fought just one round. And uh, in my opinion, I make a knee on his biceps and he said that he had an injury before. So that's it. It was a TKO, like, no? Yeah, I got some history with him. Uh, we fought in Chicago, I think two years ago now. And I, uh, I taught my, uh, my, um, uh, my tricep. And uh, yeah, so that's why uh, he got the win. But this time uh, we will see. I'm still uh, angry, but more, yeah, um, the moments, you know. I, now I'm just chill. Why, why should I sp uh, uh, spoil energy? Why should I do it? So. Uh, for me, is the goal is to have the title. This is my goal. So I have been out for now almost one year. I fought last time in December. I had a bad year, 2015. So there's a lot of things that happens in my life on this year. So now everything is sold out, everything is clear. I'm mentally fit, prepared and physically same. I just want to show the people that I'm back and uh, that I'm the number one, I'm really the number one. So. If I see it at the ranking, I cannot say that there is everyone that I could fear. There is no one. There is a lot of things, you know, uh, if the life of the professional fighters, there is a lot of things happen. My, my wife was pregnant, I opened up my store in my country. I have a lot of things that I have to deal with, so I had to train, I have to work in my country and train on the same time. Sometimes I cannot go to train because I still have to work, there is a lot of things that happen that normally a professional cannot do. So now I put everything by side, I say I want a title and I will do everything to get this title. Yeah, I uh, switched gyms and um, so now it's more professional. Uh, the things that wasn't that good are better now. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm not a bo little boy, I'm a man now and I, uh, I feel very good and very confident. And uh, yeah, and I want to show that I'm back. Yeah, training with Melvin Manoff is very hard. He, uh, he kills me every time in training, and uh, yeah, but I like it. It's, it's good for me. I just want to win. I don't care how. I just want to win, but uh, the knockout is the most beautiful thing, so that's what I'm aiming for. But if it's points, I don't care. On this fight, my goal will be there to, to knock him out. There's nothing else, because for the last fight, he said that he was injured and he don't think that I, I could won the fight, so that's the only thing that I want to do. I don't want to go three round or two round, I just want to finish it, so that's it. The, for those people who never showed me fight, I think they will, be, they will see an aggressive fight, a brutal aggressive fight, because that's my type. Normally I always go forward and uh, I, I'm like, like uh, my trainer called me, I'm a diesel, uh, you know, a, a diesel. Yeah, I like, can punch like 100 times in a minute, so that's what I'm doing. I will be, everything will be hard and clean shots and brutal fight, just brutal. Um, yeah, what you're gonna see. You see a uh, very hard fighter, very hard punches, um, who's more tactical than you, how I used to be. And uh, yeah, that's it, watch Saturday. I don't know, I want to climb the rankings, so that's my, uh, my goal and I want to be the number one and I think now the time is that I can be the number one. You know, uh, with him, he fought Morit Boussidi, Morit Boussidi uh, hurt his shoulder, he fought Philip Flinder, Philip Flinder hurt his hand, I think some voodoo or something. You know? I don't know, man. <laughs> you know, you know what my voodoo power is, Jesus. You know, God gave me the power. I don't have nothing with voodoo. I just have God. So God is giving me the power. So uh, it's a shame that he's thinking like that. But hey, 
if my opponent has injury, so what is my fault? So I am there, I have 150%, so he has to be 150% too. So if he had an injury before, better say, okay, I cannot fight. But if you go into the ring, there is no excuses. You have to fight, and if you lose, you lose. Then you have to accept the lose. That's it. If Jesus gives you the power to knock Michael Dew out, does that mean that Jesus doesn't 